You know who this is, man. This your boy, Bikachi Kane. Representing that Grand Hustle Bread Boss. Dope and Champagne. You on Hot New Hip Hop. Let's go. Hi, yeah. Bikachi. Yeah. Yeah. You better tell me. Hi, Bikachi. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know who this is. What's going on, everyone? You are tuned into Hot New Hip Hop. I'm Latasha, and right next to me, big. Hot new hip hop, big country king. What's going on? You know who this is, man. This your boy, country king, representing Grand Hustle Bread Box Cartel Life. Is me, dope and champagne. It's gonna be out November 16. Now this is the this is the big sophomore album, right? So tell us what we can expect on that on that release. Since I was putting it out independently, I figured I'd just make it a street album. You know what I'm saying? And just fill the void of the of the club life in the street life because it's all mixed in one now. We got any uh, features that we can look forward to on that? Yeah, yeah, I got a uh, Currency on there, uh, Trade the Truth, T.I., Lloyd, just some new artists that y'all gonna love, you know. And let's talk about your... Rap a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we would hope that they rap on that Dope and Champagne track. Now let's talk about the new single, you have Peach Crush. What's, what's that all about? Peach Crush is the single, you know what I'm saying? It's about Peach Crush and uh, activists. You know, we lean a lot, smoke a lot of blunts. But, you know, doing as we doing all that, the song is telling you how I'm so impatient in this game. It's time to go mainstream. Absolutely. Now, we know, speaking of, you know, you've been so impatient, you've been working years, years, years at what you've been doing. Tell us how you even got started. I know, like, you and T.I. started selling mixtape out the trunks. Like, how did you and T.I. even get on together? Well, you know, that was like 17, you know, 18 years old, you know, and uh, we were selling our own tapes they're in the streets, uh, PSC in the street, mixed tapes, before he even got on. He was always nice. He was always rapping. So when we got up out the streets and started taking the music seriously, he came out with, uh, I'm serious, and didn't do so good, but we, we, we kept working at Dope Boys in the Trap. Before you know it, he came king of the South. Now it took you about 10 years before you got your first solo album? Um, I got my first solo album uh, 2008. Right. Uh, I had a group album in 2005. I had a solo album in 2008. And uh, that was my turn to eat. So now I got the Bread Box Company, Bread Box Music, you know what I'm saying? We keep that bread in the shoe box, that's where it came from. And uh, now we're working. And now you won't have to wait that long anymore. Right now, it was it was a long wait. Now a lot of new young artists think that it's an overnight success, and you can be like the telling tale that it's not. Like you have to go ahead and grind it out and like. They think I'm new. Right. They're like, boy, I love you, man. How long you been? You just had it. They think I'm new. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, I'm not as young as you, boy. But you know what I'm saying? I'm, I go hard. Right. And what gave you that that patience and that motivation to keep gunning for it, even after it didn't turn out so quickly as you would have liked? I mean, when, when, I, when I just felt like uh, rapping wasn't for me anymore, a person came up to me, one of my close friends told me, like, the day you quit could have been the day you made it. So I don't think you should quit. So I like, cool. I just keep on working like this crap. <laughs> At the time. And then I just start finding myself and finding uh, the artist I want to be. Now I'm very happy about it. Now, like you said, you are not a new artist. You've been at this for years, and people can acclaim to you that you are one of the most underrated artists. Do you feel the pressure with this sophomore album, sophomore solo album, Dope and Champagne, as to like really make your stamp in your moment? My fans are diehard fans, and when you get fans like that, they don't go anywhere. They're not looking for a hit record. They're just looking for the music to be dropped. It's a difference. Well, when you walk in at your sides with those army fatigue pants on, you're going to get respect because I, I respect you, all right? I'm not going to cross the line. I'm not going to OD right now, okay? I mean, some people, some people just ain't, don't have a uh, brain up there, you know. You, know, you just got to shake their brain back to make it work. You know? See, you better, y'all better stop and salute this man and stop playing. Big Country, thank you so much. Tell, it, tell your fans, everybody, what's next for you and what's coming up. Okay, Dope and Champagne, November 16th. Check out Peach Crush. Already follow me on Twitter. Big Country Kane, follow me on Instagram, Country Kane, follow the website, uh, Bread Boss Music, Music Spell, M U Z I C. If you can't remember all that, just remember I'm Mr. Wi Fi, just Google me.
Google him. He's online. Big Country King. Thank you so much for talking to me and hot new hip hop. Hot new hip hop. Hot new hip hop. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>